Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. The purpose of this video is to walk you through the syllabus and explain what will be going on over the course of the semester. And this is what I would do the first day of class in a traditional class. And for this class this semester, we do have a decent percentage of the class that will be taking the class remotely. So I wanted to provide this information uh, online through the, this recording as well. So this is my contact information up at the top here and how you can get a hold of me. And the best way to do that is through my email address here. Uh, the I'm not based on the Stevenson campus. So email is the best way to get through to me. I will happily have office hours if you need to talk to me either before or after class time. But otherwise email is the best way to get a hold of me. Now the course information this is the introduction to astronomy and this is the course physics 125 and the classroom locations are here on on the Owings Mills North campus and we have a lecture classroom and separate classrooms for the lab. Now the lecture times are noted here as well and what we can see is that the times are actually slightly changed from what is here we actually start at 505 p.m. and end at 655 p.m. and this is because Stevenson has adjusted certain class times because of the uh, because of the virus so to spread it right to people out moving and not all classes changing at the same time since we're in an odd classroom for lecture we will start five minutes later and end five minutes later than the times that are scheduled we also have a course description here which explains uh, ex what, what we're going to be doing in the course i talk about some of the instructional methods and i do note the textbook for you here which is the OpenStax astronomy textbook, which is freely available online. And I provide a link to that in the first day handouts section. So you can actually link to the textbook directly. You can purchase a hard copy if you want, but that is not required. Now here on this page and the next page, we'll also see the course outcomes, things that we will be covering in this course. And you can take a look at those as well. But I want to get into the grading section first, as everyone's always interested in that. And of course, this is a, the grading scale is provided here. Letter grades going from an A for 93% or more uh, down to an F for below 60%. Now, the grading and specifically for the School of Sciences policy is that course grades are not rounded. So what we see here is what the final grade will be. And if you end up with an 89.9, that is a B plus. You need to hit 90% in order to get an A minus in the class. Now your grade is calculated in a number of ways and split up between exams, labs, and other assignments shown here. Exams are worth a total of about 30% for the semester exams here and the final exam. Lab work will be worth about 35% for the labs and the semester lab observing project. And then the remainder is other assignments, homework assignments, article reviews, class participation and professionalism. And I'll go over all of those a little bit here. So the midterm exams will be first. Those are worth 20% of the class uh, grade. And there will be four of those. And I do drop your lowest grade. So you're low if you do poorly on one of the exams that will go away at the end of the semester and will not be included in your final calculated grade. Um, we also have the uh, uh, exams will be based on their reading uh, reading uh, textbook as well as class notes. So it'll be based on a mixture of those things. So some things we may not have covered in as much detail, but are gone over in the textbook will be covered as well on the exams. Um, so that's the exams. And then the exa questions will be multiple choice and essay, which I mean by short answer, something that can be answered in a few sentences or a diagram. Now there also will be a final exam which is cumulative uh, which is split a little bit more into just a set of multiple choice questions and one multiple part essay or short answer. The final exam will be cumulative 
So it will cover the entire semester. And we can take a look at the rest of that here. And that is and specifying that no, the final exam cannot be dropped. It is only the semester unit exams that can be dropped during the semester. Now we also have class participation, which is broken down into two parts. There are two things. Uh, one is one question that you need to ask for each unit of the class and you do need to email that to me at some point during that unit. Because of the way the class is being set up this year, it does not have to be the same day. You can email that anytime during the unit and there will be specific deadlines given and posted in class for you. And you do have to be present that day, meaning that you have to have logged in to something to have done something in the class if you're taking it remotely or to have been present in the class in order to receive credit. So I will look at those questions and I will give you a certain amount of points just for sending the question. And then I will have some peer review of the questions that I will provide that you will go through and rank the questions and that will be worth the remaining three points of the of the uh, for the participation for that. The second will be weekly in class exercises that are worth five points each. Again, you do need to be present in class and they are only available during the class period. So they'll be available that evening only. They are not available all week. So you can't jump ahead on the participation exercises. You can on the questions, but you cannot on the exercises. You have to do those on those specific evenings. Generally for those in class, as soon as we're done with class, if you have a computer with you, you can just log in and go ahead and do that. If not, you can still leave and get that done. As long as you get it done that evening, you'll be fine. But but after that, it would be considered late. Now we do have homework assignments. There are four of these during the course of the semester. Each has 20 questions, but you're only assigned 10 of them to do. So there is one of these for each of the four units of the class. And just make sure you are looking at what questions I've assigned, whether they're even or odd, and doing only those questions so you're not doing excess work. So you'll want to take a look at those. I do primarily grade them on effort. So a good chunk of the percentage is based on just having tried it. So if you made a decent attempt on the on each question, even if you got it all wrong, you'll still get a 70 75% on the homework. Uh, you then the rest of it will be graced graded on how accurate you were. I do as with the lab, I do drop your lowest homework grade it will be dropped at the end of the semester. Now I will talk about the solar observation separately, but I do have you observe the sun over the course of the semester and there will be a formal write up, which is worth about 15% of your final grade. Uh, there's a separate handout for this and I will talk about that a little bit more later uh, in the in the section. Article reviews, I do provide some magazine articles that you can select and you need to select up to three of these. Uh, again, there are two of them. I do drop your lowest grades. You only actually need to do two. So if you do the first two, happy with your grades, you can skip the third one without penalty. These give you a chance to read a recent magazine article on astronomy and keep up with some of the current findings that may not yet have made it into the textbook. There will be lab work each week and this will be on Wednesdays. We will have our labs and for those uh, attending remotely the lab will be available starting on Wednesday evening so you will be able to access it then and it does need to be completed at the same time. So I'm trying to keep everything on the same schedule for everyone whether you're taking the class remotely or in person. I do drop your lowest lab grade as with others at the end of the semester. So if you miss a lab somewhere along the line, it will not end up having an impact on your final grade. Uh, professionalism is a uh, set up by the School of Sciences and is graded based on things like attendance, behavior, uh, how attentive you are, etc. The various things listed here and that will comprise 3% of your final grade. 
Now, in order for the court to go over the course policies, mainly, again, keep an eye on your Stevenson email account and Blackboard on a daily basis. Anything that gets updated or changed, I will send through one of those two, depending on the exact situation. So make sure you're taking a look at those. For me, again, the best way to contact me, if not through the discussion boards on Blackboard, would be through my email address. So email me there. I really try to reply as quickly as possible and always within 24 hours. Meaning if you haven't heard from me within 24 hours, please resend your message or let me know because I, I never, must never have gotten it or it got lost somewhere along the way. Um, if you have missed exams, some of these policies again are set by the college. If you miss an exam due to illness or quarantine, make sure you have contacted me prior to the exam. And that way I can work out arrangements for you to be able to make up the exam. As I've said, exams are conducted, can be conducted online for those taking the class remotely. And that means that you can take the class, take the exam, even if you are within quarantine. So you do not have to take it in face to face. I am providing the exams online as well. So you can still should be able to take it regardless of illness or quarantine because they are available online as well. Now the next section, if we look at some of the policies here, we'll see that a couple things that are very important. First of all, please make sure that if you're using electronic devices, you are welcome to have things like computers on if you're using them for notes or to follow along with the lecture slides. That's perfectly fine. Um, other ones, please keep them off and away and you want them out of the way so that you can really focus on the class. Also specifically, there is we can do not allow food or drink at all in the lab room. So on Wednesday night for lab, you cannot bring water or any other drinks into the lab room uh, or any food at all. And in this case, this semester, you cannot even have food in the lecture rooms uh, because of the uh, requirement for face coverings. So you can, not, you can have water, for example, within the lecture room to the best of my knowledge, but you cannot have that within the lab rooms at all. Now, when you're submitting a projects, again, the same as with the others, if there are specific illnesses, that can be adjusted. However, don't forget, assignments are available well in advance for some things. So for most assignments, this would not necessarily apply unless you're unable to do anything for it. So there are some chances that you have the assignments available early and you can actually work on things like homeworks and article reviews in advance and they are available in advance. Uh, other assignments, I will certainly work with you if these cases come up uh, for th things like the participation or the exams or the labs if there are specific uh, situations. Uh, attendance, again, you are expected to attend the class. So constantly missing the class will uh, count against you. However, if you have suspected symptoms and are reporting this to the wellness uh, center, then that would be different and we would work work with you on that of course and with quarantine requirements we would certainly work with you on those so you do need to work on that and if you are out you are going to need to be able to access the material through the class to be able to keep up with things so you will still need to keep up with the assignments for example if you are quarantined for a couple of weeks you will still be able to access all of the materials for the class uh, participation again I've already talked about and that's similar to what we've looked at before uh, for the submissions here my specifics for the submissions again I do ask that they cannot be handwritten so things like homeworks article reviews and the solar projects must be typed up um, the labs if you're completing them in class could be handwritten I'm fine with that because if you're filling out worksheets there I understand uh, they do need to be submitted through Blackboard. All assignments will be submitted through Blackboard unless you are taking the labs in person. If you're doing the lab in person, you can turn me in the paper there. Otherwise, you do need to submit them on Blackboard. And they do need to be in one file and in one of the following formats. Those are the only formats I'm able to accept here. Uh, most other uh, word processors will export to those uh, formats if you need to. Um, I do not do not ask you to scan or photos of the assignments. I want the actual assignment text itself. Um, assignments 
uh, so assignments need to be submitted through Blackboard and that will facilitate my grading and getting grades back to you uh, quickly. Now um, for the la for the assignments I do allow late assignments and those up to two days late acquire a 10% penalty four days late 25% and seven days late 50%. Beyond seven days from the time an assignment was due, I do not accept it for any credit at all. So you can submit the, submit them late if you're running late. Of course, there are specific things if you're quarantined or showing uh, COVID symptoms, then that would be uh, different. And we would work with extending those deadlines a little bit for you to help you be able to keep up with the class. Now on the next page, we'll take a look at the class schedule. So let's clear all this and we will look at the class schedule here. And this shows roughly what we will be doing over the course of the semester. And what we see is I've broken it down by a class day. So each day that we meet on August 31st, this is one of the things we'll be going over. On September 1st, we will be starting the first uh, chapter of the textbook and I've gone through we're going to be working through the textbook 30 chapters worth as we'll see from chapter 1 through chapter 30. Uh, some days we'll be trying to cover two chapters depending on the actual nature of what we're covering and others we will have just a single chapter so sometimes it just depends on exactly what we're trying to cover there. And I've given you all of the other assignments. Uh, some of these are pretty well set. So the solar observations, the article reviews will not need any kind of changing. Obviously, if for any reason I run behind, homeworks or exams could be delayed, although I don't see the reason for that unless there is some significant change to the schedule or we have cancellations or something happens where we have to readjust the schedule completely. So most likely these will all be set as scheduled and exams will be expected to be completed on the exam night. Uh, other, other assignments will be due by midnight of that day. Now if we look at the next page, what we find is that these are the specific assignments for the due dates for some of the major assignments, the homeworks, the article reviews, and the uh, solar project. So I just remind you of the specific dates. And then of course, the date for the final exam, we are scheduled for Friday, December the 11th at 1.30 in the classroom. So you can make sure you mark those dates as keeping an eye on when the things are going to be coming up due. Uh, the university guidelines are really just general information that you should have seen before. So I'm not going to go through all of that in great detail again here. But you will see that in all of your classes. Those are general guidelines from the university as to diversity and academic integrity and other things. Um, again, if you have issues or are showing any symptoms of the virus, you do want to keep track of that. And if you have requiring accommodations, please contact the Disability Services Office. I do need that in advance in order to give any accommodations or adjustments for the class. So if you would like that, you do need to contact them. I can't make the accommodations myself. They need to be made through the university and through that. And again, make sure if you have any symptoms, you do need to report those to the wellness center immediately so that they can keep track of everything. So that is also definitely don't come to class and that will be and then do report that to the wellness center. So it's all documented for you. Um, some of the requirements again here are going through some of the new health and hygiene protocols. You can read through those. We will have specific seating so they can keep track of anything if there are any issues uh, in the for the class. Now as we go on and finish this up get towards the end here our next page will show us some of the again some of the links for disability services again make sure you take care of that on there if there are if you have any accommodations that are needed they will take care of that uh, academic link library other online resources and the wellness center are all linked to there and then finally we have the uh, learning goals and outcomes that you can have and those are listed uh, down below on this page and on the next one 
then the last page will be the course contract. This is actually your first participation exercise. So you want to read through the syllabus. I've gone through it a little bit. Read through it in detail. Ask me any questions. And then when you're done, print and sign this and submit it to me on Blackboard before uh, the end of the day on September 1st. So normally it is due the day, the day I assign it. For the course contract, I give you a little bit of extra time so that you can uh, have time to go through the syllabus and not feel that you're rushed to sign and agree to the syllabus without having fully read it. If you're happy with it at the beginning, you can just get it signed and submit it on the first day of class. But you have until September 1st to be able to go ahead and submit that. So that concludes our little walkthrough of the syllabus here for our class this semester. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to contact me. So until next time, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.